You're watching Ramping Up Your English, a program designed to help you improve your English. This is segment two of episode 39. Today we're helping you use English to compare and contrast. We're using information on dogs and cats. Again, we look at the green section of the chart. Let's focus on the first item, and that's cats and dogs are both mammals. There's a lot about being a mammal that makes dogs and cats good pets. We use the word both to show we're describing how they're alike. We focus on their fur and their body temperature since these help explain their appeal as pets. Notice the importance of the word both. Now we restate their popularity. We use the word share to show that we're comparing. This time we write about the vocalizations of both kinds of animals. We use the simple word and to show that we're comparing. Now that we've compared the two, let's start our statements about how they're different from each other. That's contrasting. Again, we consult our chart. Let's start with the clause. Cats can contract them, dogs can't. First, let's announce that we're shifting gears and starting to contrast. We use the word while because it shows that we're identifying a feature that they both have in common, but one which has differences between them. We show that they're, we're stating two or more differences when we use the phrase for one thing. We describe the difference, then we simply state that a dog can't retract its claws. Then we state the effect of this difference. We indicate that we're pointing out another contrasting feature when we state another difference. Again, we use the word while, and we also use the word in contrast to identify another difference. Now, looking back at the Venn diagram, we've used three of the traits in the middle to compare dogs and cats, and we've used two of the differences to contrast the two. I'm going to have you do the same for the two remaining points. Use the fact that they have sharp teeth to compare them, then use the teeth and the independence issue to show how they contrast. Remember, using the words both, while, and difference can help you achieve the function of comparing and contrasting two well-known objects. Now you can use the examples I used on this episode to help you practice making your own sentences. They're all posted on my website, letscreate.org. You can also watch the entire episode by clicking on the link there. You can also go beyond the assignment and get more practice. Add your own observation to the Venn diagram, or you can choose two other objects to compare and contrast. Looking at how dogs and cats are alike and how they're different may help your thinking process, not only in comparing and contrasting, but also in learning that differences are not bad things. Learning to respect differences is a vital life skill and one that seems to be lacking in our world. Use the light side of the force. After all, you're working to improve on a different language than the one to which you're comfortable. You're already stepping into the light. We'll learn something about the dark side of these beloved animals when we return. What's a horse doing on ramping up your English? We're galloping toward a new unit, animals. So we're in the country meeting some horses. Horses are just one of the many animals that will help viewers ramp up their English. So funny. Our Mr. Cowboy, you loving that? Horses, boy, I'm, I'm getting the flies. You see, horses have to deal with flies. Coming soon to RVTV Voices, a new unit on ramping up your English, an educational support program for intermediate level English learners from all language backgrounds. So how can horses help you improve your English? Watch Ramping Up Your English to find out on channels 15 and 115 in Ashland and channel 182 on Charter Cable in Southern Oregon.